the world gradually has become a global village. So, that means you can stay in any country of your choice and able to communicate freely with the people of any other country. However, there is one of a major challenge that could make it difficult to enjoy this village as it were. It is the problem of language. Many persons have a difficult understanding language. According to the reliable source, there are more than 7,000 languages spoken of in the world today. More than 7,000. So the challenge is, how am, can I be able to communicate with these other persons who speaks language rather than mine? And how will I be able to transfer my ideas, transfer my feelings, transfer my thoughts across to them? So in today's tutorial, our attention will be focusing on Though you may understand only one language, a lang bilingual, you may be, or multilingual, you may be, but you can actually communicate with millions, billions of people out there. So how possible this can be? This brings us to our tutorial on Google Translate. So in today's tutorial, let's learn how we can use Google Translate to communicate with as many as possible of different languages without necessarily having to speak the language. So you need to open your browser, connect your system to your internet, open your browser, and here you type translate.google.com. Okay, you can see on my screen translate.google.com. Press enter. When you press enter key, it opens this environment for you. So you will need to, at the left side of it, you may need to type what is in your mind. So you may need to choose a language. You can come here and click this. When you click this, you can see how many languages are displayed. Take notice of it. So you could pick the primary language which you speak. All right, if you are speaking any of these languages, click on it. But on my own, I am clicking English as my primary spoken language. After clicking that, if you have typed what you want to translate already, you could copy and paste in this environment. After clicking pasting in this environment, then you can then translate. Uh, to automatically translate to you. All right. Take for example, I am trying to speak with somebody um, that speaks French. Okay, let me take Spanish. And Spanish. All I need to do, I will come to my side of the uh, the left side of it and type what I have. Maybe I want to start the communication. Something like uh, hello. So as soon as I type hello, automatically it will start translating to the right as you can see as you can see on the right side of it is doing what translating all right so when it's done translating it will display you the equivalent of a low in english and uh on the spanish all right you can see it there hola <laughs> i hope that's beginning <laughs> spanish will not <laughs> execute me for that all right so now you can see at the bottom here the different translations or uh, different meaning of the word has been displayed here okay all right so with other languages to enhance your knowledge that is not enough you could decide that you would rather speak to the microphone directly to the person and it will be translated you can see here from your uh, by voice can speak by voice automatically will be translating to the person or you can decide it okay let me listen to what i've actually typed in case i make any typographical error or let me see how it sounds to me first okay click on hello that. as you click on that sound make it it's read exactly what was typed if you want to learn how this hola is pronounced you come here on that same sound display 
Okay, so it actually sound out how it's pronounced so that you yourself can even learn the language. So after you have done with everything, you come here and click on copy. Copy in case you want to copy and then paste to actually discuss with the person. So let's make a better sentence. Hello, how are you doing? So you see, hello, how are you doing? In English, automatically it translates to the equivalent of it in Spanish. You can choose a language rather than Spanish. You can choose French. Just like we came here to select many languages, you could as well do the same here. To choose other languages, come here. Select any language of your choice and use. Let's just use Italian for example. When you click it at the first time, it may take a few seconds to, uh, to actually change. All right, you can see now in Italian. All right. If you want to keep what you have, uh, you want to save what you have translated, you can come to the bottom here where it is saved. Okay, with that start, you click on it and it's saved for you. In case you want to make real use of it letter and so on all right so this is how you use google translate so just type translate to google.com then it will open this environment for you to start translating with this you can be able to communicate with people of any languages and the language barrier would have been reduced to the barest minimum if you choose to learn different languages this is how you learn the languages. So we really appreciate the fact that you stay with us down to the end of this tutorial. So do not allow language to stop you from joining this fine global village, which we communicate. It is true that all languages are equal according to the linguistics. However, some languages have more influence to that of the others. It could just be the economic power, social power, and Political powers are many more. So whatever your language is, whatever language of your choice may be, use Google Translate. By just typing translate to google.com, you'll really enjoy yourself as you communicate freely without any constraint. I hope you enjoyed the short tutorial. So subscribe, like, share this video. I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thanks so much. I sign out.